The Rogue is the best-selling vehicle for Nissan, not just in Canada, but globally. This is the new Rogue, and for 2021, it's a totally new vehicle from the outside, inside, and everything in between. The new Rogue is built off a brand new platform and chassis and is definitely the boldest and most dramatically styled Rogue to date. Dimension wise, the new Rogue is very similar to the current one. The wheelbase and width are the same, but the new one's overall length is about 40 millimeters or one and a half inches shorter, which it really doesn't show. This design has a more squared off look. It almost seems like the Rogue has worked out and bulked up in this new version. It has a much more chiseled and planted look for sure. For increased fuel economy as well as noise reduction, they've worked on the aerodynamics quite a bit and added underbody covers, functional air curtains, 3D tire deflectors on either side and active grille shutters. They say this new Rogue is as aerodynamic as a Lamborghini Murcielago. Starting from the front, you get a double V motion grille. Now, all trim levels get standard LED lights across the board, front and back. Now, there are three trim levels and make sure to check on your local website of where you live, of what trim levels are available, or what comes with them, uh, where you are. These are Canadian spec cars and where you live, it might be a little bit different. So just make sure you check on that. Anyways, standard LED uh, lights on this platinum model. This is the top of the line model. There's the platinum, there's the SV below this, and there's the base S. Uh, the platinum also gets the little LED uh, fog light at the bottom. Really has a great style. The hood looks very long and flat. Uh, here are the, the air curtains that we were talking about here. Now onto the side here, uh, this platinum comes with 19 inch wheels. But uh, if you go for the base trim, the S, it even comes with 17 inch alloys, which is really, really impressive considering a lot of its competitors, the Rogue's competitors, their base models come with steel wheels with hubcaps. So uh, standard 17 inch wheels on the S and SV gets 18 inch wheels, 19 inch for this. And if you look at the design here, you know, Infinity just uh, released images of their QX60 monograph. It's their concept uh, SUV. And and I think this kind of looks like a, a mini version of it. It might be the color a little bit too because their images were the same color as this. This is the champagne and with the platinum you can also get a two-tone roof. Leaves are falling here. A two-tone roof so this get yeah, the black and the champagne looks really good. And check out the bottom rocker. It's not just one straight piece that kind of runs along the bottom. It is styled. It has this curved shape to it and it really seems like it pinches the waistline of this Rogue. So that makes it look like it has a, a wider appearance and a just more planted look. Now, check this out. The rear doors, they just keep on opening, opening, opening. <laughs> 85 degrees, almost 90 degrees of opening. And as you can see, a very large, almost square-like opening, easy to get things in and out, especially when you have car seats like this. Be aware though, when you have doors that open this wide, make sure you have lots of room when you're in a parking lot so your kids don't fling them open or make sure you make your kids aware, which I definitely drill that into my kids' heads all the time uh, when we're in parking lots, not to swing the door open. Onto the back. At the top, more aerodynamics with a roof spoiler, integrated third brake light up there. And speaking of lights, you have your standard LED tail lamps. I like how they wrap right around uh, into the rear quarter here, and it gives it really a flared look, including the actual light itself, which gives it more of a rugged appearance. Quite squared off very clean design on the bottom. Now, if you get the S trim, you do not get a power lift gate, but if you go into the SV with a premium package, you get a power lift gate. And on this Platinum, not only do you get the power lift gate, but you get the hands-free option as well. Now, look at this, a large, large opening, very, very squared off on all sides, making things uh, easy to get in and out of. We have the travel trunk here, fits straight in. 
I could basically uh, fit three of these easily in here. You can see how big this is. All right. So let's take that out and show you the rest of the back. Now, on the right side here, they've actually created a little cubby area. It is plastic, hard plastic, and I've got an empty milk jug here, so it'll, a gallon jug will fit in there, uh, milk or even windshield washer fluid. And this platinum comes with a divide and hide system. Now you have to get the platinum to get this, but it is a very smart system. So these floor panels move. Right now they're in the higher position. Let's say you have some smaller, uh, flatter items. You can actually place them underneath this panel. And once that's there, you still have a nice flat floor. Or you can actually lift this up and use this as a wall. And this is extremely handy if you're carrying things that are rolling around or you want to just separate things. Uh, it's fall right now. Maybe you want to go to the pumpkin patch and grab a bunch of pumpkins and you don't want them flying around. Well, you can put those in the front or maybe you need a, a propane tank filled uh, for your barbecue. Throw that there. It limits uh, the space that something can fly around. And if you want maximum room, you can just put these in the lowest position for even more room. Also, on the left side, you have a 12 volt outlet here, so you can plug in any of your uh, um, chargers or, or pumps for camping, anything like that. You have a tunnel cover. And one other thing that I really do like, along with your, your open and close button for the power lift gate, you do have a lock button. And if you know me, I'm a big fan of these buttons because you can just hit them and then you don't have to wait around until it closes before you can lock it. You can just walk away right now and it'll just lock by itself. There is a lot going on in this new Rogue and a lot of standard features starting from what we're sitting on here, the anti-gravity seats now in the front and the back. Also standard are heated front seats on all trim levels and a heated steering wheel. Base models even get the heated steering wheel. And what I love is the steering wheel is heated all the way around. Not like some manufacturers out there, Toyota. The SV with a premium package and this Platinum also get heated rear seats. Now, when you look out in front of you, it's screens, screens, screens. 7, 8, 9, 10.8, 12.3. What are those? Those are all the numbers and sizes of screens. Standard, you get a seven inch uh, display in front of the gauges for the base trim, and then you get an eight inch infotainment screen. Now on this Platinum, you get a 12.3 inch digital dashboard and a nine inch display. As well, you get a color 10.8 inch head up display, and we'll show you that in a second. Lots of information displayed on that. Let's get back to the center screen here. This nine inch has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, that comes standard on all trim levels. And check this out. The backup camera and the round view monitor that this comes with and also the SV trim comes with, it's clear. I've said this for so many years that the Nissan products cameras are not very clear, including the Infinities even. And they finally have addressed that. You get a nice clean image for both systems, your rear camera and your around view camera. I also like this system. You have redundant controls underneath the screen, easy to use. You have your back button, your camera, map button. It's just, you wanna do something, just hit that button. No menus to go through. Simple, simple, simple. You have a nice, elegant volume and tuning knob on it. Below that you have your heating controls and this has an exclusive tri-zone climate control. So you have your driver's side, your passenger side, as well as the rear all get independent heating control. And this is something that's pretty well non-existent in this class of vehicle. In the center, starting from the front, you have two USBs, a USB-C and a type A, as well as a 12 volt outlet. Now this Platinum also gets wireless charging but not just that, you also get wireless Apple CarPlay. Uh, so no wires necessary. You can slip your phone in there, it'll charge, plus it'll communicate with the system. Uh, if you have an Android phone, you still will need to plug it in to get Android Auto at this time. Then you get this cool e-shifter they call it. It's kind of like a ratchet shifter. I like the feel of it. You have your drink holders, electric parking brake with auto hold. So you can just activate that. You can press your brake pedal, 
take your foot off at a light and it'll just hold for you. You have a new drive selector and under the armrest you have a butterfly opening uh, middle compartment. It's not huge, I have to uh, say, but it does open from either side, which is nice because the passenger can get access to it as well as people in the back. And speaking of storage, underneath this middle console, you have a pass-through that goes right through. You can put certain items down here and they've made the door pockets very large as well. So you can fit uh, water bottles up to 32 ounces in these massive door pockets here. This Platinum also gets a Bose sound system and SV trims and up get the large panoramic roof. I really like the look, feel, and function of this new interior, the choice of materials, this smooth wood finish with this brushed uh, metal here, the choice of color. Uh, it's very, very functional, and it has a very premium upscale look and feel to it. It really feels like almost like an infinity. It's that good. Okay, in the back, plenty of room. The opening between the door and the bottom of the seat is very long too, so even people with the biggest feet have no problem getting in and out of this Rogue. The seat is set for myself right now. I'm almost five foot 11, so a ton of knee room, lots of foot room here. There is a small, uh, small hump on the, in the middle, very, very small though, but a lot of people will be using this as a family vehicle as well and we had a booster in here. We have a full-size car seat. You can see how much room here there is for the passenger or the child's uh, legs. There are also five latch anchors, so you can have not only seats on the left or the right, but you can also place that seat right in the center as well and anchor it nice and tight there. So uh, on this platinum trim, you also get heated rear seats, which is very nice and you have that tri-zone climate control that you can control the temperature from the bottom. You have a USB-C and a USB type A as well. And if you get the premium package with the SV, you also get the sun shades and it comes standard on the platinum trim we have here. All right, we finally get to go on the road with this new Rogue. Now we only have this for a day, so a very short period, but uh, so far, what do you think, Cynthia? I think it looks beautiful from outside. From a distance, I first of all, you know, the color, this contract of color, I first of all thought it, it almost looked a little bit like, I don't know, for me, almost a little bit of a lateral look. Yeah, it does, it does. And, uh, and we have the kids in the back. Hey girls, can you be quiet a little bit, please? So Cynthia, what do you want to know about this new Rogue? You have been so excited of talking about this car and then I really want to know this new model. Was not new model different than the older? Well, we talked about the outside and the inside already. So the biggest difference, I guess, if you look at the mechanics of it, is the platform. So this is a brand new platform and chassis. It uses a higher ratio, 35% uh, ratio of ultra high strength steel. What does that all mean? It means it's a stiffer. It's a stiffer chassis, 27% stiffer, which means that the suspension works better and it gives you better handling, but it's actually quieter. So this is a really good example. We are uh, cruising along right now to 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles per hour. We are not on the smoothest pavement and listen to how quiet it is. Like we're going over bumps. The suspension isn't really loud at all. Uh, we even drove this uh, earlier on where it was pouring rain. Even pouring rain, uh, it was actually not loud whatsoever. It, it really is very, very refined. Uh, the acoustic side glass, all the insulation that they've been using, and all the aerodynamics. So they've done a really good job there. And under the hood is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. And it has 181 horsepower and 181 pound feet of torque. It's not the most in uh, this class of vehicle. This guy's really close to us here. Uh, it's not the most for this class, but it's definitely adequate and that's matched to a CVT or continuously variable transmission. Now, I know a lot of that stuff, you know, we have a we have an ECVT in, in our car. Um, 
you've never ever mentioned anything that you don't like it or whatever, but some people uh, are kind of, they're not big fans of CVTs. I'm not even a huge fan, but every year they get better and better and better and better. And this one, I hopped into this thing and I really did not even notice that we're driving a CVT. It's honestly that good. Um, there's no droning, there's no whining when you when you put your foot into it. Uh, we have the drive modes right now. We can go into sport mode. Okay, RPMs go up and, okay, let's put our foot to almost the floor. Yes, going a little bit quick right now and it really does react quite fast and there are paddle shifters. I don't know what, when you would ever use those. Also for the drive modes, there are two new ones. There is a, a snow mode and there's an off-road mode now and that controls the all-wheel drive system. This does come in front wheel or all-wheel drive and their intelligent all-wheel drive is the next generation. And so what they've done is they've added a new electro hydraulic controller clutch. All that, I know, it's a lot of technical jargon and that just means that it's faster. So when you, when you, it detects slippage or it basically can predict slippage depending on your driving uh, habits and it can get the traction to those rear tires even quicker. And that's just better all around. Quicker is better. It's safer. This new Rogue has a brand new suspension, independent suspension all the way around. Uh, really good sight lines. I like the head up display in this platinum model. Good rear visibility as well. And standard, you also get the safety shield from Nissan. So this is across the board, right from the base S model up to this Platinum. And that safety shield comes with uh, automatic high beam assist, lane departure warning, rear cross traffic alert, blind spot warning, automatic braking with pedestrian detection. Now, uh, one thing that I really wanna mention, and we just discovered this yesterday, uh, Cynthia went to get her insurance done yesterday. Yes. Uh, what did they ask you there? Asking the automatic... Um, braking. Automatic uh, braking. Do we have automatic braking system? That's right. So uh, depending on your insurance company, you might want to check next time you, you actually do go and get your insurance or renew your insurance because uh, they asked us this question. If you actually have emergency automatic braking, you can actually get a discount off your insurance. So uh, make sure, remember to ask your insurance broker about that. The trim level that I think is gonna be the volume seller is the SV, the, the middle trim, uh, because you get all the good standard features of the base S, plus the added things like the round view monitor that we talked about. But you also get Pro Pilot Assist, which has been improved on this new Rogue. So it has enhanced radar, so when you're using the adaptive cruise control, it can adapt the braking even smoother. And it also has next generation cameras, and that detects the lane markings even better so it can activate your lane centering or steering assist mode. Then if you go in the Platinum trim, you get the Pro Pilot Assist with navigation. So you get all of that plus some very, very big enhancements, and one is the stop and go. You can go and use your adaptive cruise and if you get into a traffic jam where you're stopping and going, before it would be like three seconds when you're stopped and then to resume you'd have to hit resume or hit your gas pedal. And now when traffic comes right to a stop, even though it's stopping by itself, it'll actually hold there and restart itself up to 30 seconds. So you really don't have to do anything and that's really, really nice. The Pro Pilot system with the Navi can also regulate your speed for you automatically. So if you're going and going on to a, an off ramp, for instance, or going around a corner, it can be proactive and start slowing you down for that. Also, it can recognize street signs and adjust your speed to uh, what the street sign is, and what the traffic sign is. And the nice thing, you can turn that on and off or you can make it that it does it automatically or you can just give it, let it give you a prompt. So it won't adjust your speed, but, but it'll let you know. Okay. And all of this stuff is displayed on your digital dashboard as well as in your head up display. Now one thing, we talked about braking. I love these brakes on this Rogue, seriously. Uh, they are some of the best modulating brakes. They are very, very linear. They are not grabby. They're so accurate and I, that has to do with for sure the platform but they're just tuned just right 
Now, what a huge difference this new Rogue is over the old one. You know, if you were waiting to buy a new Rogue, you know, your weight has really paid off. Uh, buy this new one, it's so much better than the old one, hands down. Um, and it shouldn't just be on your list if you're looking for a compact car, it should be on the top of your list. Seriously, compared to the competitors, this has so many more standard features. Uh, it's priced well, it drives very, very well. Uh, the only thing that I have to say though, is that it lacks what some other competitors have, or, or lack of uh, powertrain options. This has the two and a half liter four cylinder and that's it. Where you have you know, the, the largest, the, the biggest selling uh, compact SUV is the Toyota RAV4. And they not only have the regular gasoline engine, but they have a hybrid version. And now they have the plug-in hybrid version as well. And this Rogue at this time does not have any of those. So if you really want to have that electrified version, you will have to go somewhere else. Hey girls, is there a lot of room back there? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Lots of room back there. Uh, lots of room in the cargo area to put all their toys and stuff like this. This would be a very, very good uh, vehicle for a growing family for sure. The new Rogue starts at just over $28,000 for the S model. Remember, it does come with a lot of standard features like standard 17-inch alloy wheels, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, safety shield, and even a heated steering wheel. So a lot of value there. If you want to go for the all-wheel drive, you're going to tack on about another $2,300 on that. But I think the volume seller is going to be the SV trim, which starts at $32,000. And if you want to go for the fully loaded Platinum, like you see here, there's only one option, and that's the two-tone roof. It goes for just under $40,000. You know, if I was a member of the team that designed this new Rogue, I'd be extremely proud of the end result. I think Nissan has hit it out of the park with this new Rogue, and they're going to sell tons of them. That's our first look of the new Nissan Rogue. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment below. I read all of them and let me know what do you think of this new Rogue. And also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Why? Well, two reasons. Number one, it's free. It doesn't cost you a single penny. Nothing. Nada. What in life is free still? Nothing except that subscribe button. Number two, it really helps support the channel and helps me create more content for you. Free content. Thanks for watching.